Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to Design Coffee Break. Tell your story with our slideshow tool. I'm Lisa, and I will be your coach today. Thank you for joining us. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, and Audrey, who is watching the comments and is there to answer your questions, is in the San Francisco Bay Area. So as you come in, say hi in the chat and let us know where you're joining us from. Also, let us know what kind of promotions you've got planned for the holidays, and are you going to be doing special designs, invitations, promotions, we want to hear what you're doing. So today's topic is something near and dear to my heart, storytelling, and also we are going to give you a peek at our 2021 Christmas calendar. So I think almost everybody has struggled with how to tell our business stories and how to communicate with our customers as efficiently and effectively as possible. It's especially important this time of the year, right? Because we've got so many offers and greetings and promotions and things that we want to communicate and express and share. And uh, so we want to get our stories right and we want to do it well so we get people's attention. The challenge is, of course, that sometimes you just can't say it all in a single image or caption. So if you add everything you want to say, you're going to clutter up a design, right? So that's why our new slideshow tool comes in. This tool empowers you to turn any design into an animated story or slideshow. Um, and very much like, really it's turning anything into a video where you just tell it what you wanna show in and it tells your story. I'm gonna give you a peek really quickly of what we're gonna show you today. Don't need to save it. So this is what I'm talking about when I'm saying video slideshow or animated slideshow. So you can see, now that you can create this sort of thing and poster my wall, you're gonna be able to tell your stories better than ever. And it's quick and it's cost-effective using our templates. I think you're just gonna love it. And I am so excited to share it with you. So quick reminders, we do have bonus content today, including links to the templates that I'm showing you today and a promo code if you stay till the end of today's class. And if you know of anybody you think could benefit from this class, please, please share with them. And the video will remain here on our Facebook page indefinitely. So you can come back and rewatch later, share anything you like. Um, and also we will be checking the comments for the, you know, the next couple of hours. So if we don't get to you today during the class, then we will get back to you in the next couple of hours. Audrey, what's going on in the comments? All right, well, we have a few people joining us, Nigeria, Connecticut, some are still coming in. Uh, we have my one and only design platform. They're interested in looking for ways to promote using our content on social media. So awesome. people are excited. Oh, we have Louisiana too coming in. Woo! We love Poster My Wall for our church power, PowerPoint. So awesome. It's good. All right, so let's dive in. I am gonna start by sharing our Christmas social media calendar for this year. Uh, this is something that we've been doing every year and Audrey's gonna share the link with you in the comments. But this is a great resource. It has all kinds of links to get tips on promotions you can do and ideas, links to all kinds of templates. The template I'm gonna be working with today, um, I found through the calendar. I'll show you some of my high, some of my favorites here. On the December sixth, this is a link to last year's holiday class that Audrey and I did that was on make a custom holiday video. And that class will teach you how if you, you want to take a you know a video of your family or your colleagues or your employees and have them talking or singing and giving a greeting and then turn it into you know a video or one of the, a video slideshow to share with your customers or your family, this video will show you how to do it. We've also got links to a great collection of holiday themed restaurant menus. And my other favorite here is on the 15th, we have eight great fonts. Uh, if you're gonna take any template or a template that you standardly use and make it a little more festive, 
these eight times there's you know there's like a conservative one and a really funky one but they are all very holiday-ish christmas templates and they are just what you're looking for and you click here and it's all there for you you don't have to search for it so now i am going to put the calendar to use so say you're a bar and you're going to you want to entice people to come and celebrate the holidays at your establishment Okay, so you, you want to kind of do a, an invitation and you feel like one just one page isn't enough, you want something more dynamic. So what you need to do is five steps. You will select a template, make brand customizations to three, create your message, four, add images or videos, and then five, add your text. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And we're going to make something very similar to what I showed you at the preview. So this, as I said, is a template that I got from through the calendar. I went and clicked on invitations and I found one I like. Now, this is going to be for, of course, we said a bar. So the first thing we need to do, well, the first thing, number one, was to pick our template. And then number two is to make our brand customizations. So we're going to get rid of a couple of things that we're not going to need. And we're going to change our message. Actually, I'm going to make this smaller for starters. So we want to say, uh, Celebrate with us, celebrate with us. And this is not a great font for that. So I'm going to go in. And this also came from the holiday calendar. I'm going to use a font called Curly. There we go. Curly. And you can see we've got really kind of a fun little holiday vibe going there. I'm gonna move one of these snowflakes out of the way. And we just move this forward. Again, if something is under another element, you click forward until it's where you want it. And maybe make it a little bigger. So we've got celebrate the holidays at, and if you're a business, you're going to want to add your logo. And of course, in Post to My Wall, it is super easy to add your logo. You can just dra drag and drop a JPEG or a PDF, or you can upload it. Go to Photo, Add from My Photos. Uh, if it's on your somewhere on your computer, you can click Upload Photos. And you can see you can get to your whole computer, and you could go to your photos or a folder. You can go to your Google Drive anywhere you want. I've actually already uploaded it and stored it. So I'm going to click my logo, add it, size it for what I need. And there we've got brand customization. Now I'm also going to add a sticker, just in case any of you don't know how to do that. Come under elements, add a sticker. And the stickers are animated, so they are really fun. You can see, like, you know, this cake one is really great. Uh, the, ch <laughs> the chicken leg dipping itself in the uh, dressing is really yummy. Um, so we'll do Christmas to find something theme appropriate. And we've got Dancing Santa, some of these people giving presents, lights. And I think I'm going to go just with the simple tree because I'm going to add some other videos and don't want to make it too crazy. I can shrink it down a little, drag it to where I want it. And again, it's in the front. We don't want it in the front. So I click backward until we get it, just until it goes behind the dingle balls. And then move the dingle balls up. And there we go. Looks good. Now we're going to do the background. I am going to click replace because right now it's a photo. And I'm going to add a fun video. So I click video, stock videos, and put twinkle, twinkle lights. Oh, spelled it wrong, will not work. And I like this one. I'm going to click there, click replace video. And I need to make it a little longer so it comes down far enough. Yeah, there we go. All right, so that concludes my brand customizations. Audrey, do we have any questions so far? Is everybody with me? Everyone is definitely following so far. All right, so here's the fun part. Now we're gonna create our message. 
And the way I like to do that is to just take a piece of paper and a pencil, or you can do it on your computer or your tablet, however you like to brainstorm, and just start brainstorming what you might like to say. So I made a whole list of things I might say if I want people to come. I might tell them festive decor, make new friends, great company, holiday cheer, right? So I made my list. And, and then once you've made your list, you kind of got to think about breaking it down into a story. And you probably don't want to have more than three or four copy points. So what I did is I eliminated it down to the three that I thought I liked best. So I said, okay, if I tell them, you know, drink specials, that's important to know, ugly sweaters, because who doesn't love ugly sweaters, right? And great company. So now that you've done that, you've got to figure out how you want to order them. Now, every story has a beginning, a middle, and an end. Now, the beginning should be something that kind of gets people excited. So I'm thinking I want to start with an image of people partying at my bar. So I decided, okay, we'll start with great company. So that leaves my other two for the middle, ugly sweaters and drink specials. Then I need a call to action. And so I'm thinking, okay, how do I want to end this? What do I want them to do? And I could say, make a reservation, reserve now, order now, buy now. Um, I, I want this to be more friendly. So this time I am just going to say, join the fun. So those are my copy points. All right. So the next is number four is to add your videos and your images to reinforce those points. So I'm going back here to my template. Actually, I'm going to save it just because it's good to save every now and then. So you go, this is how you start your slideshow, right? You add media, add a slideshow, and a stock video. And this time I'm going to type in Christmas bar. And you can see there's all kinds of images here. People are celebrating. It is festive, festive, festive. So I'm going to look for something. Ah, so I like this one. We've got some people celebrating at a bar. They're wearing Santa hats. It's very obvious that it's a holiday celebration. Add the video. Now I have to size it. And it needs to cover, I want to cover this whole area. So I just make it long enough and then I'll play with it to where I got that blue line so I know it's centered. And then I'm gonna send it backward to bring all my other little goodies up, up one too far. You just click forward or you click undo and you've got your photo back. Actually, I'm, gonna, I'm losing her too much. I'm gonna make it a hair smaller. So we get her and push play. So you can see, okay, so that's a good start. So that was one point, right? So that, that was to illustrate a uh, great company. So we also had ugly sweaters and drink specials. So now you can also with your slideshows right here, when you come over here, this is your slide and you can see you've got, you've got how long it's gonna run. Um, I'm gonna click add video to add another video. You could also add a photo. And of course I'm using our stock library but it would be even better if you shoot your own videos and use your, your own people and your own videos and your own customers. So I'm gonna click add video slide. And of course, like I said, I'm using the stock, but if you click my videos, you can pull videos that are off your computer. Um, so next, look for drink specials. There's some nice champagne glasses. Let's see what else we can find. Ah, there's some, red and white cocktails with some dry ice. So we're gonna put that in and you can see it's using that exact same frame because it's one slideshow. So it's centered in the same place. So I don't have to do anything else. This is a really simple way. You can do much more complex slideshows by doing multiple slideshows and multiple elements going at once. I'm keeping it super simple here. Um, so I've got that and I'm gonna click add video slide again and I'm gonna look for my ugly sweaters. Christmas sweaters and ah, lovely couple. 
All right, so I have three videos in here. Now you can come back and you can see the videos and I wanted to have ugly sweaters stuck in, so I'm gonna drag. You can drag these around any order you want. You can delete if you have too many images in, or you change your mind. And of course you can always replace images. And here it says the runtime and you can see one video is 11 seconds, one is 19. I, you obviously don't have that much time to get people's attention. So I'm just gonna put three seconds on each. Right, so I'll show you what that looks like. All right. And then you can see, that's why I, you can see that background. I'll stop it on the background. Oh, we'll see. Oh, didn't stop on the background. Get it right between slides. But that background with the twinkle lights comes through, that has to do with the transition on the slideshow. Um, so if you lose your slideshow, you just click on the slideshow again, and you'll get the menu back up. And because that's it's on spade, so you could pick something else. I actually really like um, let's go pan down for now. Um, and because it's got that thing, that's why I put something fun in the background. If you had no transition, it would just go from one to the other. But if you're going to have a you know play around with the transitions, you need a background that you're going to like seeing. Okay, now I'm gonna put in my copy points. So I click on the slideshow again, oh, scroll up. Now I click here for a text slide. And again, that's just for photo slides. You can mix them up all you want. So I'm gonna put in text and I'm gonna start with great company. And because this is coming out centered on that same slide, that's all I have to do is type it in there. If I wanted it positioned somewhere else, I could play with it. Um, you know, you've got some options here for top justifying, bottom justifying, middle, and of course, whether it's aligned on your left, right, or center. I'm gonna change the, actually I'm gonna make this a little smaller first, and I'm gonna change the font. So you just have to click the font. I like Archivio Bold. So then I can resize my font to get it where I want it. And it's a little not centered. So I'm going to move that slightly. There we go. All right. So now let's go back to the slideshow. All right, so that's that's at the bottom, and I want that to say great company first. So I'm going to move that up to the top, and there it is. I'm going to add now. I'm going to add my other my other text. Um, that's interesting. Oh, I see. It's because it's at the end of my slideshow. So I'm going to go back and make sure it's not playing. And now it'll let me get at it. Yeah, if you have problems with um, getting to the slideshow, it probably has to do with either that it's at the end of the timer or the timing here. You always want to make sure that it is either that you do it as a custom duration or a slideshow, the duration of the slideshow. So as you add slides, you're going to want to make it longer or shorter. All right, so we're going to go back. Add that. Lisa? Yes. Quick question. Okay. Uh, we do have, TL was wondering, you know, how you made your points, like how you wanted to break up your slideshows? Yes. Did you just, did you do that in just a separate window? Like you, you had just your bullet points on a separate window, just so you can keep track of it, right? Yeah, that was, I mean, okay. basically, really, really, I would do that on a piece of paper and I just put it on the screen that way to show so that everybody could see what my line of thinking was and how and how I do it. But um, yeah, I do it on a piece of paper or in a maybe in a Word document or in a PowerPoint. Um, you can do it in post to my wall, but you'll wanna have a completely separate window. So you can probably look at both at the same time if you're working on the whole thing at the whole, at the same time. Thanks for clarifying. No problem. All right, so now I've added ugly sweaters, which, and one more text slide. There's my text. Oh, see, it keeps moving. Stop. All right. Okay. So great company. 
some text. Here we go. All right, ugly sweaters and cat walk, make it quicker. Drink specials, join the fun. Now I am just gonna get rid of this one, it's a blank. Now I can just drag everything where it goes. So we want ugly sweaters before the ugly sweaters, great company, ugly sweaters, drink specials before the drink. And now if you decide say that, uh, you know, go, go to, you know, if you want to go to any particular slide, you just click on it over here on the right. So I could go to drink specials. And if you decide that you want to change a font or a color or something or add a add a, add a uh, shadow, you can just you can just do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to add a strong shadow um, so that that pops a little more. And then if you want to have the exact same, if you want to have the exact same thing on all of go back to the slideshow. If you want to have that on all of the slides, there's this handy slide, right? Apply the text to all slides, click apply. Now you can see, we'll go to great company. You can see they all have that shadow. So that is a really great time saver. Um, just love it. So we've got it in the order. Um, now I also, I'm gonna go and change the timing again, just on the text. I'm gonna make the text only two seconds just because you don't need to, you know, people read it quickly and the, the images are more interesting. So I'm gonna change that, Oops, 32, not what we're, so I'm gonna change the last one to six so it stays a little longer give it a play so we see. All right, so I'm pretty happy with this. And as a finishing touch, one more little thing I'm gonna do is go to media and I am going to add stock audio. You can add your own audio again, like if you, want to sing or speak, um, you know, you could even be talking and inviting people. That would all, all work. But we do have a huge library of uh, free audio clips you can use. It's pretty much anything. I'll show you, I, I Googled Silent Night. So we've got, I wanna make sure, can, I don't know if you guys can hear the audio. Let me just double check something here. Here we go. All right, this should be, okay, here we go. All right, so we've got really soft, or if you want something a little, you know, any kind of sound, I like something a little more jazzy. So we want to have a little fun. We want people to think they're gonna to come to the bar and have fun, so we're gonna add that audio clip. And there we go. So we have got that great invitation and that was how easy that was to put together. And then of course, all you have to do, you can save it. And then once you have saved, you can download it as a JPEG or a GIF, or of course, publish direct to social media. For those of you who don't know, you can Go, you can publish it right to your Twitter, Instagram, business, Facebook, or Facebook page or Facebook group from Toast to My Wall. You can send it out in an email campaign. You just have to upload your, set it up and upload your addresses and add some copy and a subject line and you can email it out to your friends. You can upload it to any of our digital partners, um, digital signage partners platforms can publish it as a web page. And if you do this option, it actually sits on, um, it sits on the post to my wall domain. So even if you don't have a website of your own, you can publish something as a web page, and it gives you a link and you can give people the link and then they can get to that web page and you can add links if you're doing that too. Uh, we'll do another class on the links You can embed it in your web page or you can put a link to your design on social media. So that is awesome right that's how to tell your story with our slideshow tool Audrey do we have any other questions. Uh, you know what, 
publishing, I know we just covered, you know, publishing to social media, but we do now have publishing to Instagram. So that works the same way as Facebook, correct? You can publish it to your Instagram business or group page, just not your personal profile. Right. It has to be an Instagram business page. And um, there's actually there's actually a link when you go in to set it up in post Well, there's actually a link to show you how to change your account from a personal to a business account if you want to try that. And if you don't like it, Instagram will let you switch it back. So um, so it's certainly worth playing around with and seeing seeing if it works for you, if it's a if it's a you find it a valuable tool. So we promised some bonus content. Audrey's gonna share the link now. And you can see that we've got a link to the Christmas calendar. We've got those templates. And then we have the link to last year's class on creating your own personal video card and some other classes that we think might be helpful for you. We also have a discount 30% off with the promo code design break. That is for anybody who is first time buyer of premium or premium plus or upgrading from do it, um, pay as you go to premium or premium to premium plus. This is a really good deal. And I just, I just want to say that, you know, if you want to play around with some of these videos, if you use the discount code, you can get one month of premium plus with unlimited video downloads and publishing to social media and everything else for about $22. And you could make a year's worth of content really and download it. Um, and then later, if you decided you could go back the next month to pay as you go or premium. So I would encourage you at some point to play around with the videos and the slideshows. Uh, once again, this video is going to stay on our Facebook page. So you can come back as often as you like. Please share it with anybody you think would be interested. And we have got a hashtag, hashtag learn with close to my wall. If you do some video slideshows, we are looking for examples of what our customers are doing with this tool to share on our social media. So please use the hashtag. And you know, if you've done a great design, you could be featured on our Instagram feed and our Facebook feed. Our next class is gonna be next week, Elevate Engagement with Dynamic Digital Content. We are gonna have Zayed Ladhari of Radiant, our one of our digital signage partners here to show you how to use digital signage to transform the way you engage with your customers. He's gonna share a lot of examples of dynamic videos made on Post For My Wall with the Slideshow tool, and they're gonna to apply to workplace, hospitality, education, retail, restaurant, um, Going to share links to those templates. That's next Wednesday at 12:30 Eastern Standard Time, November 17th. We hope you'll join us. Anything else, Audrey? We are good for now. We are, we are good. Okay, well, that's it for now. Thank you from both Audrey and I and from Poster My Wall. We really hope you have a great day. <laughs>